بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ویل ڈسکس نیوران اینڈ نیوران از دا بیسک اسٹرکچرل اینڈ فنکشن یونٹ آف دا نروس سسٹم نروس سسٹم سیل اور کار نیورانس نیورانس ہیو تھری ڈسٹنگ اسپارٹس دا ڈینڈرائڈ دا سیل باڈی اینڈ ایگزام This part helps them to send and receive chemical and electrical signals. So these are the cells which actually receive or send signals from neuron to neuron or from the external uh, surface of the body, internal organ. They receive impulses and then they send impulses to this organ for proper action. Neuron is a structure which is active all the time in the ring of life. Neuron make an electrical like circuit which runs and control all the appliance of the system. In the same way in the body, neuronal circuit control nearly all activity or functions of the body. A neuron is the structural function unit of the nervous system or electrically excitable cell in the nervous system their function to process and transmit information they pro- process the information and then these process information are transmitted neuron are the core component of brain spinal cord and peripheral nervous system so the whole nervous system is made of neuron that's why it is called the functional and structural unit of the nervous system there are many type of neuron among the estimated 10 billion in the human brain each typically share the same characteristic although there are 10 billion neurons but they have a uh, same characteristic they show the same characteristic the flow of information move in the following direction neuron uh, the neuronal activity is carried out in uh, this in this way then right to soma to exon to terminal button to synapse you can see there the neuron receive information on dead right then it is these information are sent to the soma and then to the exon and at the last to the terminal button and at this terminal button it uh, uh, these information are transmitted to another neuron at a level of synapse the basic structure of neuron the neuron consists of dendrite these are the branching uh, projection from the soma or the body of the neuron dendrites are these branching uh, projection from the body and this body is also called the soma there is a thread like thread like structure which originate from the body and then end in branches this thread like structure is called exon exon is actually formed by myelin sheet and between in this myelin sheet there are there is an uncoded area this uncoded area is called node of ranvir and other structure in the neuron is exon hello this is an anatomical structure from which the exon arises it has other function we will discuss it in the uh, next slide the terminal portion of the neuron is called end button by this it makes synapse with the 
or neuromuscular, a neuromuscular junction with the nerve fiber or with the other neuron. And this thread-like structure exon is called by Schwann cells, by a sheet, and this sheet is called Schwann cell which contain nucleus a neurolemma. Here in the Schwann cell, a nucleus is there which is called nucleus or neurolemma, nucleus of the neuron. Now we will discuss our structure one by one. So first the dendrite, these are the dendrite, the branching structure which originate from the body or the soma. The dendrite of a neuron are cellular extension with many branching. There are branch, there are multiple branch of these dendrite. This is where the major majority of input to the neuron occur. At this point information neuron in, uh, receive or collect information from other neurons. Information outflow from dendrite to other neuron can also occur. Uh, here the neuron receive information on dendrite but dendrite can also send information to other neuron so it is a two-way structure it receive and also send information to other neurons soma the soma of neuron is the central part of the neuron this is the soma of neuron this is the central part of neuron it contains the nucleus of the cell and therefore is where most protein synthesis occur you know that the cell which contain nucleus so in that area synthesis of protein occur and these proteins perform multiple funct functions including the repair of the uh, dead cell I mean the, the cell contain nucleus, it also contain rough and smooth endoplastic reticulum and Golgi operators and also mitochondria. The nucleus range from 3 to 18 micrometer in diameter. This the the range or the size of the nucleus is 3 to 18 micrometer in diameter. Exon, the exon is a finer cable-like projection. This is a cable-like projection which can extend 10, 10 times, 100 times or even 10 of 1000 of time the diameter of the soma in length. Suppose if we will take this is the diameter of the soma, one, one micrometer, so the exon may be ten times greater the, than the size of the soma, or hundred times, or ten hundred times greater than the soma, of the, than the size of the soma. The exon carry nerve segment away from the Soma and also carry some type of information back to it. This is the exon. Its function is it carry information from the soma to the other neuron and sometime in some neuron it also can bring information back to the soma. Many neurons have only one exon but this exon may and usually will un well undergo extensive branching and able communication with many target cells. You can see that this is the exon at the end it may, may it divide into multiple branches and each branch communicate with 
uh, a different neuron. So one neuron can make synapse with multiple neurons from three to thousands of communication. One neuron can make thousands of communication at a level of dendrite with the other neurons are in the neuromuscular junction. Schwann cells are surrounding the large diameter axon. These are the shield. This is a shield which walk multi multiple times around the axon and make a shield. This shield is called myelin sheet and it actually uh, present around the large diameter neuron A and B type fibers which are 2 micrometer large undergo a warping process called myelination as I told you that this sheet actually uh, walk around the axon and make a sheet and out, out at the outer surface it has a nucleus nucleus which is called also neurolemma axon hallux the part of the axon where it emerged from the soma is called the axon Hallux. This area which emerges from the body and from this axon is uh, then emerging. This area is called axon hallux. Besides being an anatomical structure, the axon hallux is also the part of a neuron that has the greatest density of voltage dependent sodium channel. Here in this area we have this uh, a sodium channel in great greater concentration and it is highly excitable area of the uh, neuron this make it most easily excited part of the neuron and the spike initiate zone for the axon in neurological term it has the greatest hyperpolarization action potential threshold and at this area the action potential is produced or hyperpolarized the neuron is hyperpolarized at this uh, in this area hyperpolarization uh, when we will discuss the action potential we will discuss the hyperpolarization when the action hyperpolarization means when the action potential is over and still the sodium gates are open and there is rushing of sodium so that uh, phase of action potential is called hyperpolarization uh, here you can see this is a diagram and this is the area where these sodium channels are present and when the it receives impulses at the dendrite level this level this neuron is excited and here this area is most it is anatomical and also most excitable area of the neuron classification of neurons classification of neuron on on the structural basis we can classify neuron on structural basis on we can classify neuron on functional basis and also we can classify neuron on action on other neuron so on action basis and we can classify neuron by neurotransmitter which they release from its terminal ends structural classification now we will discuss them one by one. Structure classification, we have four types of neuron. One is unipolar, the R is bipolar, the pseudopolar, or multipolar. Here 
in unipolar the axon actually uh, emerge from one pole of the soma this is the soma of neuron and you can see there unipolar from this one pole the axon is emerging and then are uh, originate and then it take its uh, root to the other neuron bipolar here you can see this is the soma of neuron so at one pole we can you can see that dendrite uh, arises and on the other pole you can see that the uh, axon arises so do so do uh, unipolar here from the one pole this is you can see this is soma this is a pole from this one pole uh, dendrite are arises and also axon are arise, arises from the same pole and the uh, last and fourth one is multipolar so here it is the soma here it is a, the uh, axon which originate from the soma and this soma has more than two dendrites so it is called multipolar uh, neuron so as we discussed there this is the unipolar neuron this is the bipolar neuron and this is multipolar neuron now axon and dendrite in the central nervous system are typically only about a micrometer thick in central nervous system the thickness is one micrometer while some in the peripheral neural uh, nervous system are much thicker it means the neuron in the central nervous system are thin in the brain and spinal cord which are part of the uh, central nervous system or central nervous system it consists of brain and spinal cord so neuron in that area are thin while the neuron of the peripheral nervous system are thick much thicker than the central nervous system the soma is usually about 10 to 15 micron in diameter and often is not much larger than the cell nucleus it contain this is the soma and its diameter is 10 to 25 micrometer and also the size the size and the soma are nearly equal because the the the, the soma of the body core the nucleus tightly so the diameter of both nucleus and the soma is around about uh, equal with each other the longest axon of a human motor neuron can be over a meter long reaching from the base of the spine to the toe motor neuron are long the longest neuron is about one meter and it originate from the spinal cord and reach to the toe sensory uh, neurons have axon that run from the toe to the dorsal column or 1.5 meter in adult so in adult the sensory neuron are 1.5 meter long they, they actually originate in the toe and then uh, reach to the spinal cord or ascend towards the spinal cord classification of neuron on functional basis what functions they carry out so the first type of neuron is receptor or sensory neuron other is motor neuron and the third word is, third one is interneuron sensory or afferent neuron k 
carrying sensation information from all structure of the body towards the brain into the spinal cord through the dorsal horn. This is called afferent. So it actually collects information from the organ and enter the brain or the, uh, enter the spinal cord through the dorsal root. The sensory neuron originate from an organ and they then uh, into the spinal cord at a on dorsal root and bring information from the organs. So this why uh, that's why it is called apparent neurons. These neurons are specialized and sensitive to a particular physical st uh, stimulation, such as light, vision. We can see. Uh, until or uh, unless the light is uh, anything is when it is not lighted we can't see it so uh, vision is uh, through this mechanism or by uh, light mechanism we can see the uh, anything which surround us sound auditory this is these are all three neurons and chemical olfactory or pressure touch so for all these physical chemical chemi uh, electrical magnetic or pan we have neuron and they actually bring this information from the surface of the or deep structure of the body to the spinal cord to through dorsal uh, horn of the spinal cord. The second type is motor or even neuron. Even means it carry uh, information from the spinal cord. Motor or even uh, neuron carry away from the brain. They carry away information from the brain. Neurons receive impulses from other neurons and transmit this information to muscle or gland. In the previous lecture, uh, slide, in this slide, you can see that information are received and then these information are transmitted to the muscle or organ by the motor neuron. These neurons are of two types, alpha motor neuron and gamma motor neuron. The motor neuron are then further classified into alpha and gamma. Alpha motor neurons give rise to a large type, type A alpha motor neuron fiber average 14 micrometer in diameter. The diameter of these neurons are 14 micrometer. These fiber branch many times after they enter the muscle belly and innervate the large skeletal muscle fiber. You can see that we know that in the muscle belly we have bundles and in these bundles we have muscle fibers. So the Muscle fibers, the large muscle fibers are actually innervated by these uh, alpha large motor neurons. Here you can see that these the, uh, the blue ones are the uh, large alpha A type of neuron and they supply the muscle fiber. Stimulation of a single Alpha neuron fiber excite from three to several thousand skeletal muscles. Fiber which are collectively called the motor unit. The junction between the neuron and muscle fiber that area is called the motor unit. And when uh, alpha neuron can stimulate from three fiber to 
hundreds, several hundred fibers and this causes the contraction of muscle and the area where the the neuron in the muscle fiber make a synapse that is called motor unit. Uh, in the muscle belly we have a structure this is called uh, this is actually a sensor and this is called muscle spindle it lies in the muscle belly and it detect any change in the muscle and these information are then transmitted by dorsal or sensory neuron to the spinal cord and appropriate action is carried out by the motor neuron. This is a muscle spindle. Uh, the alpha motor neuron actually innervate. These are the large muscle fiber. They are innervated by the uh, alpha motor neuron and the gamma or small motor neuron actually innervate the uh, muscle spindle. Here the gamma motor neuron are again uh, uh, classified into one uh, so the gamma motor are neuron are small neuron and they actually uh, innervate the intrafusal fiber of the muscle spindle. Again, we will discuss this structure. Uh, this is a separate le lecture. The muscle spindle, which has extrafusal and intrafusal fiber, and also nuclear exchange in nuclear back fibers. So, uh, these uh, actually the gamma motor neurons supply the small fiber. They, they are small neurons and they supply the small fiber of this. Uh, uh, sensor in the muscle which is called muscle spindle and this is the actual structure of the muscle spindle. <coughs> Gamma motor neuron are located in the spinal cord and tear horn. These gamma motor neuron transmit impulses through much smaller type A gamma motor neuron fiber average 5 micrometer in diameter. The alpha motor neuron are 14 uh, micrometer in diameter and they are small, they are 5 micrometer in diameter which go to small special skeletal muscle fiber called intrafusal fiber. Interneuron or intrinsic neuron. Interneuron or intrinsic neuron form the largest group in the nervous system. These neurons, they are interneuron because they are lying between the apparent or sensory neuron and the motor neuron or apparent neuron. They communicate or they join these two neurons and their population is, uh, it has the largest population in the nervous system. They form communication between the motor neuron and the sensory neuron. Classification by action on other neuron. Excitatory neuron excite their target neuron. Excitatory neuron in the brain are often glutamatergic. They release glutamine. So they are glutamine and glutamatergic and they are excitatory in nature. They cause excitation. So the excitatory neuron in the nervous system are glutamatergic. Inhibitory neuron uh, inhibit their target neurons. When these they release their neurotransmitter at the junction with uh, its neuron or with the neuron they make the synapse, they inhibit these neurons. Inhibitory neuron are often interneuron. The interneuron, most of the inhibitory neuron are interneuron. These neurons use such as neurotransmitter as dopamine, acetylcholine, serotonin, and other neurotransmitters. Remember, dopamine and acetylcholine have 
dual action they are excitatory and also inhibitory in neuromuscular junction acetylcholine cause excitation in nervous system they perform some inhibitory action and in the same way dopamine in the nervous system cause excitation or also inhibit inhibition so they are they have the dual action so either neuron are excitatory or inhibitory or they may be have dual action classification by discharge pattern neuron can be classified according to their electrophysiological characteristic tonic or regular spiking some neurons are typically constantly or tonically active they release their potential or they are all the time active and action potential is produced all the time in these neurons so they are they have a regular spike there is you can see the, the timing between the spike or the same and they are regular spiking neuron they are usually pre present in the neurostriatum which part of the basal ganglia and we will discuss the function and we will discuss the basal ganglia it's attached they are usually present in the neurostriatum phasic or burst neuron the neuron that fire in burst are called phasic neuron here you can see the neuron uh, the, these neuron are stimulated they there are spike of these neuron or action potential is produced and then the in in the first uh, potential and the next uh, activity of this neuron there is a uh, time uh, it, during which these neuron are remain quiet and there is no activity in these neurons so they are called third phasic neuron they stimulate in phases when their activity is needed they become stimulated and when their neurotransmitter are not needed they remain quiet there are neuron which are uh, pass spiking some neuron are notable for their fast firing rate for example some type of cortical inhibitory interneuron cell in globus pallidus again it is uh, a part of the basal ganglia so they they are fast uh, spiking neuron they are uh, here you can see that the time between the uh, uh, spikes are short thin spiking action potential of some neuron are more narrow compared to the other for example interneuron in the prefrontal cortex are thin spiking neuron here you can see the the gap between the action potential is narrow they are excited uh, quickly these are various type of neuron this regular spiking and the you can see that uh, they are basic in a uh, thin spiking neuron classification by neurotransmitter some examples are cholinergic they release cholinergic neurotransmitter or acetylcholine the neuron which release acetylcholine they are called cholinergic uh, neurons and those who release gaba gaba immunobutyric acid they are called gabergic neuron they are inhibitory in nature they are cholinergic or either in neuromuscular joint they are excitatory in some uh, area they are inhibit glutamatergic they are excitatory neuron and dopaminergic have a dual uh, action may be excite uh, maybe cause excitation or maybe cause inhibition.
or over excitation it may also cause over excitation myelin sheet oligodendrocyte and shown cells form the myelin sheet that insulate axon in the central and peripheral nervous system respectively oligodendrite actually core the axon in the central nervous system and the shown cell core the axon in the peripheral nervous system this is a sheet which i discussed in the previous slide that this sheet uh, work around multiple time around the uh, axon and make a sheet that sheet is called myelin sheet glial cell in addition to neuron the nervous system is populated with an other category of cell glial cell we have neuron in the nervous system and we have the glial cell in the brain these uh, cell actually glial cell are approximately 10 times more than uh, more plentiful than the neuron their numbers are 10 times more than the neuron but their size is small so they occupy the same space as occupied by the neurons they are 10 times more than the neuron but their size is uh, less than the neuron so the neuron and the glial cell occupy the same space in the nervous system Glial is a Greek term meaning glue. Glial cells show as the putty that held the uh, neuron together. It plays the role of putty or gown. Or they are a sticky uh, structure, a sticky substance. They keep attached the neuron with each other. Now, in the nervous system we have a huge number of synapses so each of the 10 billion that is 1 trillion uh, has on average 7000 synaptic connection to other neuron each neuron has 7000 synaptic connection with and other neuron. It has been estimated that the brain of a three-year-old child has about 10,000 uh, or, or trillions of synapses. Uh, this number declined with the age stabilizing by the adult hold. And one neuron makes 7,000 synapses. So one real neuron may have a 10,000 or 10,000 trillion synapses in the nervous system and with the age, when the, when the age is increasing, these synapses are decreasing in size. So at the adulthood, they come to the normal numbers. Estimate will vary from an adult, adult ranging from uh, 5 into, uh, here you can see uh, 10, raised to power, 10 raised to the power 15 synapses or uh, 1000 to 5000 trillion synapses. Here in adult we have one uh, 1,000 to 5,000 cranial synapses in his nervous system uh, depending on uh, various adults. These are the synapses which are one neuron make with the other neuron. Here you can see that the synapse can be at the dendrite, at the soma, at the exome hallux and some neuron make uh, a synapse with the add also make synapse at a level of axons. Here you can see this is a presynaptic neuron 
which make a synapse with the uh, post synaptic neuron at a dendritic level, the other make at soma level, and the third one make a synapse at the axonal level. So, synapse may be uh, axonal and at exodendritic uh, or exosomatic axon on the soma synapse which make uh, synapse at the soma axon which make synapse at the dendroid and exam, exons which make synapse at the uh, exon so this is exonal ex, exon exonal synapse now synaptic transmission Neuron communicate via chemical and electrical synapses in processing known processes known as synaptic transmission. Here, synaptic transmission takes place at a synaptic level. Remember, first there is an electrical uh, activity or electrical current arise or electrical. Um, activity this current is changed into chemical and then the chemical activity is changed into the uh, electrical activity the fundamental process that targets synaptic transmission is the action potential a pro propagation electrical signal that is generated by exploiting the electrical excitability membrane of the neuron. Here you can see that the electrical current arises here at the uh, pre-synaptic neuron. This, here we have a uh, uh, synaptic cycle which contains chemical uh, acetylcholine which is a reasonable synapse. These acetylcholine attach to its receptor on the muscle fiber. So first the electrical uh, impulse is converted into chemical and then the chemical impulse is converted into uh, electrical current. So this is the activity which take actually at a synaptic level. Thank you. Hoping you may have learned something from this lecture. Neuron is a very, very complicated structure of the body. This is just an introduction and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for in-time notification and leave your valuable comment for improvement of the channel. Thank you once again.